All right, so this is the end of the big time toys era of sea monkeys. As of some point, I can't quite remember. A uh, dragon eye has now taken over the sea monkeys production line, and will be distributing uh, already. Actually, this is one of the last big time toys sets I'll be hatching. So I'm about to add packet number two, and see how it goes. All right, so now I'm adding packet number two. Usually with these big time toys counterfeit Chinese packets, I usually get pretty good results in hatching. However, if you add the food, it usually kills them for some reason because the food is just toxic for some reason. I noticed some sort of fiber or hair got mixed into here, but it's usually not bad for these sea monkeys. It's just weird. Alright, so this is going to be setting out for a day, and we'll check it in tomorrow to see if they've hatched. Now, I've started a few sea monkey tanks on the side. Well, actually, they're just brine shrimp eggs that I added to sea monkey solution, except for this fishbowl one. This bowl right here is just uh, brine shrimp with salt and baking soda. I've got the proportions right, so it's pretty good. They've hatched well. I'm going to add a bit of food to this bowl, though, because uh, the other sea monkey tanks I had uh, had a bit of food in them already. So I just wanted to add some to this one. All right, so I have some leftover aqua dragon food I'm going to add to the uh, brine shrimp fish bowl. Uh, I like aqua dragon food pretty well. It's a lot similar to the uh, previous sea monkey food that uh, Trans Science was making. Okay, now we're adding the Aqua Dragon's food to the brine shrimp fish bowl, and see how it goes. Alright, so here are the brine shrimp I started in the sea monkey tank a couple days ago. How I get it to work is um, I take old sea monkey water that had dried out, and then I rehydrate it by uh, pouring water in and then filtering it through a paper towel and putting it back into the washed sea monkey tank it was originally in. Uh, it seems to hatch brine shrimp pretty well, and uh, they seem to last as long as sea monkeys. And it's because you have to add the right proportions, you know. If you add too many eggs, uh, the brine shrimp are going to die. But if you add the right amount, which is about approximate to how much are in a pa actual packet of sea monkey eggs, then they last just fine. Here's another brine shrimp and sea monkey solution I have hatched yesterday, or two days ago. They seem to be doing pretty good. Alright, it's day two, and there are definitely brine shrimp nauplii in the um, big time toys sea monkey tank. Um, I can't really focus on any right now, but, uh, I think there's one. There. Okay, so this is a, um, sea monkey aqua dragon tank that I had, uh, started a couple days ago. Uh, because this, uh, ghostly galleon kit that I got from the Toys R Us sale didn't have any eggs in it, I just decided to use an old aqua dragon pack. But these haven't uh, hatched yet, and I don't think they will, because I think the packet I had was out, left out for too long in the heat, and then stored in the fridge, which I don't think helped. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take some shrimp from this and put it into here and see how well they do. Alright, so they're in there. Uh, I've got them in after acclimating them to the water by putting them into a small cap like this. I usually uh, put a bit of water in with the brine shrimp before I put them in to make sure they do okay. And now they've been in here for about an hour and they're doing pretty good.